Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we're going to be talking about something I've gotten quite a few questions on. That is the availability of Can-Am Spiders and Rikers. You know, right now we're in an unprecedented spot in history where things are, that are normally available just are not available, and the reasons why and why not. Uh, I've spoken to several dealers, and I've I've also done a screen grab of a recording from the BRP CEO. Now, he was talking in French, so there is a sync between the lips and the words, but he gives you a little insight of what's going on. So before we get started though, if you would subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, moves us up in the algorithm. If you're not, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe, make sure your notification bells are on so you don't miss any of this engaging content. Without further ado, let's listen to the BRP CEO and see what he has to say about delays. Hello everyone. I hope you are keeping well and staying safe. Today, I want to talk to you about the difficulties we continue to face. I know some of you have been waiting a long time to receive your product. And it is disappointing not to start your riding season as planned. I am sure you are aware that we are facing multiple challenges due to the pandemic. A lack of electronic components, transportation backlogs, and most recently, labor shortage. Despite these difficulties, we strive to deliver our dealer's orders. It may take more time than we wish. We believe this is the best way we can serve you rather than canceling units. In most cases, this has been accomplished and we have been able to fulfill our commitment. The situation is evolving. We are monitoring several factors that might impact our reality. You can be certain that our 20,000 employee Continue to work tirelessly to ensure you get your product as soon as possible. All of us are doing our part to go above and beyond with you, our customer in mind. As you know, it's always been in our DNA to push limit and surpass expectation. And I can confirm this is more true than ever during these challenging times. We are going to great length to ensure you have the vehicle, service part, apparel, and accessory you need. In the last year alone, we have sourced additional supplier worldwide and chartered multiple flights to get parts quicker. We have increased our manufacturing and storage capacity. We have changed production schedules and assembled unit with some missing components that we retrofitted ourselves or at the dealers at a later date. Labor shortage are very challenging. We have managed to expand weekend and night shifts and are running some of our facilities 24 seven. These are just a few examples of the many initiatives we have taken to adjust to the current reality. I know this situation is far from ideal. You can count on us to provide regular updates to our dealers and share information as timely as possible. All right. Well, there you have it. It doesn't seem real encouraging, does it? You know, we're going to try. We're going to work hard. We're going to keep going. We're going to be faced with more stuff. I do want to also let you know, I did cut sections out of that video for the sake of time. He did a little talk about their off-road stuff and jet skis and, you know, and then of course, you know, hey, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I cut all that stuff out just so you don't have to hear the, the multiple apologies. But if you do want to see it, there will be a link to that video down below. You can watch it in its entirety. It's probably two minutes longer, but I think you got in the meat and potatoes of it. So the first thing we want to do is break down a little bit about what he said about what they're trying to do to resolve the problems, things that I think are good, things that I think aren't so good. So we'll talk about that. So the first thing, here are their solutions to these problems. One is they've outsourced additional suppliers worldwide. That could be good or it could be bad. And it's kind of like the, the hee-haw thing. Well, my wife left me. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. That kind of thing. Great uncle died. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. How come? Well, when he died, he left me $50,000. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. How come? Well, when the Internal Revenue got through with it, all I had left was $25,000. Oh, that's bad. Um, it depends on the supplier, right? If the supplier is is building a quality product and, and it's going to be good, then that's a good thing. And if it's, you know, some you know, cheap junk made somewhere else in the world where quality control is kind of under the rug, might not be a good thing. I think only time's going to tell on that one. Uh, chartering flights to get parts quicker, definitely a big thumbs up. I know that costs money. 
increased manufacturing and storage capacity. That's a good thing too. They if they're increasing their uh, their capacity to manufacture, that's a wonderful thing. Storage, you know, hopefully they're not going to need a lot of storage, but apparently they're going to. And we're going to talk about that in a minute as well. Also, they changed their production schedules. They're doing some weekend shifts and midnight shifts, and they've even brought office people in from the front office to, to work back there in the manufacturing part of the plant where they're all pulling together. That is a really, really good thing. So I applaud BRP for making those changes. Here's the one thing that I don't think is so good that he mentioned. This is where he refers to assembled units with missing components that will be sent out to the dealers. And then the additional parts will be sent out so that the that, that assembly can be completed at a later date. I've spoken to two dealers. Two, both dealers are dealing with this, by the way. Um, Byron Motorsports up in Byron, Georgia. Wonderful, wonderful people. Um, spoke to the sales manager up there. His name's Aaron. Great guy. If you can do business with them, do business with them. They have a lot of inventory of a lot of things, not just the spiders. So if you're looking for a motorcycle, you're looking for a side-by-side, -side, that sort of thing, be sure and check them out. I'm not getting a dime from those guys. I bought my Suzuki from them. They did a great job. They sold me the bike at a great price. They treated me right, and they've been kind as they could possibly be. Well, here's where they are right now. If you're looking for a spider, they have an RT Limited in stock. However, it is incomplete. They are waiting on components for it. But if you wanted it, if you wanted that, then if you're willing to wait for the components, give the guy a binder as soon as the components get in there, they'll get that thing assembled and you can get you a spider. But one that they do have in stock that is really cool that was the one that I said when the unveiling of the new 2022 year that I said, this would be the one I would want is that new special, the F3 special in red. They have one of those in stock. It is complete. They're going to be assembling it here in the next day or two. So I don't expect that to be on the floor very long. If you're looking for an F3 special, man, I wish I could pull the trigger on that one, but I just can't do it right now. Um, that would be a heck of a machine to have. Also on the Riker front for um, Byron Motorsports, as of now, they have four Rikers in stock. They are the uh, Riker. They're the 900 Rikers. Don't know if they're the rallies or the standards. You could call on that, what colors and all that's available. But they do have four Rikers, four 900cc Rikers in stock at Byron Motorsports in Byron, Georgia. Orion Motorsports here in Tallahassee. I reached out, talked to Orion this morning. Uh, right now, they're not expecting any Rikers until the end of May. Yeah, the end of May, six weeks, man. So the 31st of May is basically what they're looking at at getting some Rikers. Now, as far as the Spider, let's talk about what's going on with the Spiders at Orion Motorsports. He has three Spiders in stock. Now, are they F3s or RTs? I'm not sure, but they're all three incomplete. So these are machines that they cannot assemble and cannot sell right now. Um, could you put a binder on it waiting for whatever's missing on them? You could probably, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to do that for you. Um, but what are they looking at in the future of getting a spider? Um, additional spiders, Byron Motorsports and Orion Motorsports are both looking at, we don't know. Delay, delay, delay when it comes to the spiders, the Rikers, you're looking at the end of May. It's just where it is. So let's revisit the one thing that I think is a really bad idea, and you're seeing it already in play into the tune of three spiders at Orion Motorsports and one spider in Byron, Georgia. Now, these are things coming from me. These are not things that these dealers have told me. They have not complained. They have not said anything negative or arbitrary about BRP. They are great dealers, and they represent BRP very, very well. Even when I try to pry bad information out, they won't let it out because they are, they're good people, and they care about the product, and I'm glad of that. So I, I want BRP, if anyone from BRP Manufacturing sees something and they go, man, these people, these dealers said bad things, I want you to know they did not. This is Coach Bob 3 opinion. This is my opinion, Coach Bob not theirs. Now that we have that out of the way, sending out a product, an incomplete product, in my opinion, is just a bad idea. 
Whenever you had an incomplete product, you're like, okay, which parts are missing? And are the parts that are gonna come in, are they gonna be, they're gonna fit properly? Um, whenever you're manufacturing something, you have all of the resources at the plant to make things work. To ask a mechanic to, to take an incomplete motorcycle and just figure it out later on down the road, I just think it's a little unfair uh, from the manufacturer to do that to them. I understand you're running out of storage space and I'm sure that's why. So maybe this is a better solution, but right now, just in my mind, I look at quality and the potential for error, the potential for bad quality control. I think that that exponentially raises that. So I hope BRP is really, really watching that scenario very, very closely. The other thing I want to mention is a lot of things that these, these things are waiting on are these chips. Chips we're getting from China and those sorts of things. I don't know if I can find the picture, but if I can, there is a place that has like a ton of Ford trucks that are just waiting for chips. They're completely assembled, they're ready to go, and they're just sitting there waiting for chips. This is a real problem, and these manufacturers are really, really struggling trying to get the stuff out to you because they are beholden to other countries that aren't getting them the, th the things that they need to produce something that you, the consumer, and me, the consumer, that we want. It's, it's a tragedy that it's come to this, but it's where we are. So rest assured, the dealers that I've spoken to are doing their very best. They are in meetings constantly. They're making calls. They're doing everything they can to get you the product that you want. So be patient with them as they struggle because if you go in there and you're kind of a knucklehead, man, they're struggling already. That that's puts them in a real bad bind. So be sure and call Byron Motorsports. Be sure and call Orion. See if they can get something for you. And if they can, that would be wonderful. I would love to see these guys do well. Both of these places have treated me like royalty, not because I had a YouTube channel, but just because. They didn't know me. And I didn't tell them until after the sale was done. So these guys are straight up people. They're good people. So treat them with, with, with a lot of respect and work. they're working hard for you. Also, I've seen a lot of posts online where people are saying, I haven't been able to find an RT in Florida. I haven't been able to find an F3 in Florida. So I've told you where one is that's complete, and I've told you where four are that are incomplete. Three at Orion, one at Byron is incomplete, and one complete beautiful F3 is at Byron. So look around, they're out there. They're hard to find, but they are out there. One of the concerns that I have, close this computer here, one of the concerns that I have, and Kraken's Garage uh, did a video on the surcharge where you know manufacturers having to ship things and, and things are costing more to send out, and that surcharge is going up as inflation continues to increase and this shipment is being delayed. There's a real possibility that that surcharge could be tacked on to units that aren't in yet. So if you try to order a unit, are you guaranteed MSRP? I would say you're guaranteed MSRP, but that surcharge is going to fluctuate. If it goes up, if it costs them an extra $1,000 to ship it from Canada to Florida, you're gonna eat that $1,000. I, I can't imagine the dealer eating it. Maybe they will, I don't know. Maybe they'll split it with you. But it's something to be aware of. Keep an eye on the whole surcharge thing. It is a very interesting place that we're in right now. Not a place we wanna be, but it's where we are. All right, well, do me a favor until next time. Go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day, and I'll see you on the road real soon, hopefully on one of those spiders that was at Orion or Byron. All right, we'll talk to you soon.